this video is on populations and samples. Let's start by talking about the meaning of the word population. A population is just a group of people, animals, things, or places that have something in common. Here's some examples. All college students in the U.S. are a population because they have something in common. All people in the U.S. military are a population, and all people on Facebook are also a population. Each of these is just a different group of people that have something in common with each other. And let's go through, through some important points about populations. First, a population doesn't have to be a group of people who all live at the same location. When we think about the word population in everyday life, we usually think about a group of people who all live in the same area. For example, we might think about the population of people living in San Jose, the population of people living in the Bay Area, or the population of people in California. But actually, that's really just one type of population because living in the same location is just one thing that a group of people could have in common with each other. So all people living in San Jose are a population. They have something in common because they all live in the same city, but people who are on Facebook are also a population. What they have in common is that they're all on the same social network, and people on Facebook obviously don't all live at the same location. Also, a population includes all people, animals, things, or places that fit inside of a certain category. When you're doing a research study, the population is the entire category of people, animals, or things that you're trying to learn about. So here's, here's some examples. Last time I checked, there are 20,642,819 819 college students in the U.S. If that's true, then the U.S. college student population includes all 20 million 642, 819 college students in the U.S. because uh, every college student in the U.S. qualifies as a member of the U.S. college student population. Also, the U.S. military population includes all people in the U.S. military, and the Facebook user population includes all people on Facebook, but who knows how many people are on Facebook these days. Another point is that populations can overlap. For example, college students who are on Facebook are, are members of two populations. They're members of both the college student population and the Facebook user population. The fourth point is that a population doesn't even have to be a group of people. A population can be a group of people, animals, things, or places, as long as they all have something in common with each other. Here are some examples. All mountain lions in the Bay Area are a population of animals. All $5 bills in the U.S. are a population of things. Uh, they all have something in common because they're all worth $5. All 50 states in the U.S. are a population of places. So a population could even be a group of places. For example, all cities in the Bay Area make up a population of cities. All of the cities in the Bay Area make up a population because they all have something in common with each other.